Hey everyone, Andrikats here and today I'll show you how you can easily locate all 12 dragon glyphs of Onaran Plains. There are a total of 48 dragon glyphs scattered throughout the Dragon Isles and some of them are a bit harder to find compared to others, but I will do my best and try to guide you through each one. So since we have 4 zones in the Dragon Isles, you will need to gather 12 dragon glyphs from each zone. Before we get started though, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on Twitch where I'm streaming World of Warcraft. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start. The main reason we want to gather all of the Dragon Glyphs as quickly as possible is to unlock all of the Dragon Riding talents. Passing through a Dragon Glyph, which looks like a big yellowish golden coin, will give you one talent point to spend at the Dragon Riding talent tree. You can easily get access to the tree by clicking on this icon attached to the left side of your minimap. The more talents you unlock down the road, the more perks your drake will have. And what does that eventually mean? Well, at the end of the day, it will make the flying experience a lot more fun, whilst reducing the amount of time you need to travel between places. Alright, first glyph on the list is the Emerald Gardens one. It's located at the top of a waterfall near the Shady Sanctuary. You can find it in the west side of the zone. So what I did is I took the stairs from the Sanctuary, went through the Emerald Gardens, took the road up the hill and then fell down to the glyph. Since I got these uh, Dragon Glyphs a couple of weeks ago on beta, they actually added an achievement now for gathering all of the glyphs in each zone which makes it a tad bit easier to track your progress. So, you know, if you are missing a cliff and you can't seem to find which one, this will help a lot uh, narrowing it down. Second glyph is in the Nokundun Hold and it's sitting at the top of a mountain in the northwest corner of the map. So, it might take you a few leaps until you get high up there, but just a reminder, and this works for pretty much every glyph I'm gonna mention. You can use the Whirling Search ability, which you get from the Azure Span quest line. It's a quest reward from Caligos, and it really does make a lot of difference. You can actually get a lot of altitude by using it compared to the other dragon abilities. But I didn't know it at the time, so I went the slow way by using Skyward Ascent to reach as high as I possibly can wait for Vigor to recharge and then try again. Third glyph on the list is the Mirror of the Sky and it's near a small mountain peak, but uh, not directly above it. It's in the southwest of the zone, so you will probably want to reach at the top of the peak and then one or two skyward ascents should be enough to get you to the glyph. Not too far from here is the glyph number 4. This one is in Oniri Springs and it's hovering above a waterfall next to a mountain. I first landed on top of the waterfall and then waited for my Vigor to recharge and use Skyward Ascent to eventually reach the glyph. Now moving on to the fifth glyph, this one is located at the northeast side of the map at Ruzathar's Ridge. Seriously, who comes up with this kind of names? Anyway, this one is on top of a tower and I try to approach it from Thaldrasus. You might be wondering now, why did I choose to go from this direction? Well, mostly because Thaldrasus is, is like uh, on a higher level, so it helped me get uh, to the top of the tower in one swoop. I didn't have to make a lot of stops to get there. Next dragon glyph number six, this one is called Zar Skeleth. And this one is on top of a broken tower, easily reachable from the ground with probably two skyward ascents. There is also a lying statue on the ground nearby, which uh, makes it a bit easier to find. Now to the southeast corner, it's the seventh glyph, the Eternal Kurgans one. It's near the highest peak, so try to get as high as you can on the mountain and then try to reach it. Next dragon glyph, and number 8, is near the Winston Rise and you can find it hovering above a large rock. There are a lot of 
rocks right beneath it, along with a swirl in the middle, so I will say it's not really that hard to spot it. It's not particularly high, this one, you can reach it from the rock below. Land there, wait for a week or two recharge, and then attempt to reach it. Moving on to the ninth cliff in Onaran's Roost, this one is sitting on top of a large statue of Onaras. Onara, who the zone was named after, is the wild god of the wind and she takes an eagle spirit form. You can even find her on your way up the mountain in a nest. This dragon glyph is probably the highest of the zone, so maybe don't try to go with three vehicles as I did because it will take you some time to reach it. Um, you will have to make a few jumps, climb as high as you can and then wait for Vigor to recharge before attempting again. This statue can be found in the Marukai area towards the north of the zone. I think it's quite safe to say that you won't have any problem finding this statue since it's on top of the highest mountain you will encounter in uh, Onaran's Plains. So what you want to do is try to reach the top of the head of the statue, then one skyward ascent should be enough to get you right through the glyph. Though if you have a few talents unlocked and you have already learned the willing search ability, which I did mention before, reaching the top should prove a rather easy task for you. So let me walk you through each step to reach the top of the mountain by using this ability. First get to the ground near the mountain and wait until you have at least 4 vigors ready to spend. Then use 2 skyward ascents to lift up in the air, following by whirling surge. As you can see, by using this ability you really do skyrocket very high up in the air. And if you have uh, a few more vigors, you can use 1 or 2 skyward ascents to reach a bit higher. But whatever the case, just land as high as you can. Then do one more Skyward Ascent, following by Whirling Surge, and here we are, right on top of the glyph. That wasn't too hard, was it? If you want to play it safe, you can land at the top of the statue and then aim for the glyph. Next one is the 10th Dragon Glyph, which is in the Dragon Spring Summit. This one is close to the Fork River Crossing, next to the Azure Span Zone Border. It is just beneath this balcony over here between these two skewer gates. Keep in mind that there are a lot of elite mobs above the balcony, so beware of that and try not to land on top of the balcony. And you should be fine. Moving on to the 11th Dragon Glyph, the Ruby Scale Outpost. This one is in fact in the Waking Shore Zones. So I don't know what the heck is going on here, but it's supposed to be included in the Onaran Plains Glyph Hunter achievement. This one is in midair, hovering above a bridge, very close to the border between Onaran Plains and Waking Shores. And last but not least, we have arrived to the 12th Dragon Glyph. Um, this one is called Marwood Fen, which is quite nearby actually from this one. As you go from the Waking Shores to the Onaran Plains Zone, you will see it hovering just above the main road, next to a tree. The view here is actually quite beautiful. And with that, I have pretty much covered up all of 12 dragon glyphs you need to find in the Onaran Plains. When you get all of them, you will have a total of 12 talent points that you can spend in your dragon riding talent tree, which will help you eventually fly further and faster than ever before. If you got any questions, ask away in the comment section down below, I will try to answer them all. I will make more videos covering the remaining two zones as well, so stay tuned. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to drop a like if you have found this video helpful. If you want to support my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay alert. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!